Hey, so, uh, kind of big news. I just weighed myself just now, and the scale said 199.6. So I am under 200 for the first time since, um, I don't know, 5th or 6th grade, maybe? Um, <laughs> because I've been pretty big for a long time. So that also means that since December 1st of 2020, I've lost a full 180 pounds, which is a lot. <laughs> I kind of don't know what to do with that information. Um, so from here, uh, I do want to trim down a little bit more. Um, and then eventually I'm going to have to stop. And I mean like 170 to 180, somewhere in there, I think, is when I'm going to, like, stop worrying about losing weight and just straight up focus on trying to, like, fill back in some of the loose skin with some lean mass, especially on my legs. I think I've mentioned that plenty of times before, that I've always wanted, like, bigger legs. Um, it still very much holds true. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm not going to get into, like, you know, like, dangerously low weight territory. I just genuinely don't feel interested in that. That's not the look that I want necessarily. Um, you know, being that I am like, you know, kind of, I guess you could say a femme boy. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't be terribly disappointing to me to have like kind of a wayfish or like delicate look or whatever. But as I've said before, it really behooves me with, you know, working a factory job as I do. And the fact that one of my hobbies is fighting, that I shouldn't get legit frail. So, yeah, I'm thinking 170 to 180 is like a, a tentative goal weight. I'm only, you know, 170 is 19 pounds away at this point. So, wait, no. 180. My bad. Uh, I'm still waking up. <laughs> but, yeah, that's not even that far away. It shouldn't be terribly difficult um i'm feeling it's pretty achievable at this rate because i haven't been trying too hard to get this far to be honest um which is not me intending to brag it's just that it's been almost two years so at this point I, i've built new habits thank god um <laughs> and so it is starting to feel like pretty normal um you know my program at this point so I think I'm going to make it to 180, 170-ish. Um, we'll see how I feel when I get there. Uh, but yeah, once I do, um, I'm thinking I might just ease up a little bit on my restriction and just straight up hit the weights like a motherfucker. Um, hell yeah. I definitely, I, I want to be stronger most of all. Hypertrophy is like kind of a secondary goal. Um Aside from my lower body, it is a big focus there, but elsewhere, sorry, I had a fucking hair in my mouth. <laughs> elsewhere on my body, I really don't care about building size, but I do care a lot about, like, legit strength, especially as it concerns, like, things that might be applicable to my job and also, like, movements that would help me out with fighting. Like, in particular, like, um, I don't know what you would call it, like a glute bridge or something. If you can, like, push your max weight for that movement, that would be super helpful in jiu-jitsu, for example, because a, a glute bridge sort of movement is really foundational as far as, like, you know, if you're, like, stuck on bottom and you want to regain top position or, like, get out of some kind of an, an attempt at a hold or whatever... A glute bridge is, like, one of the main, like, basic things that you do in jiu-jitsu to try to give yourself some space. So that would be super helpful, for example. Um, bench press for some of the same reasons, shit like that. So I definitely want to push up my max weight in those, um, and just in general. But yeah, especially, like I said, some, like, hand pick movements that I know would be really applicable in fighting and then also, like... I I want to do it safely. I should preface this by saying that definitely safety is the number one like concern, but anything I can do to like strengthen my lower back 
would be immensely helpful at work. Also, my, I don't know why, but lately, like, my upper back has been getting really sore at work, which is a weird one for me. Like, of course, your lower back pain is, like, the fucking meme. Like, we all just know that the human spine was a mistake, but <laughs> upper back is, is new for me. So I'm going to have to look into that as well, especially since I want to eventually be able to do pull-ups. I've never done a pull-up in my entire life, not one. Um... So that is another, like, thing on the to-do list is, like, the ability to do pull-ups. <laughs> I need to start training towards that end. Um, but I just thought that, you know, getting getting to the point where, where my weight starts with a 1 for the first time for as long as I can really remember, um, I felt that that was big enough news that, like, I should do an update or whatever. Just fucking ride the hype and... Pat myself on the back like the fucking asshole that I am. <laughs> As if anyone gives a shit. Um, but yeah, there it is. Um, you know, maybe I should have like filmed the way in or whatever. But I think you guys at this point pretty much know that like if you're seeing me say it at all, then it is true. Um, you can probably kind of see it in like my face or my collarbones or whatever. But um you know, take it for what it is, um, but we'll see, we'll, we'll do more shit in the future, I guess, because I'm not quite done with all of this yet, uh, I still have no updates on the, uh, possibility of loose skin surgery, at this point, if I'm just gonna keep on losing weight, apparently, then I'm probably best off holding that in my back pocket for the future, until after I'm legit done, done, so I might just do that instead of, like, trying to press my doctor to, like, start trying to set shit up, you know? Um, anyways, I guess I don't really have much else to say. Um, I've got a lot of work coming up. I've got three seven-day weeks in a row about to start, like, not this coming week, but the one after. So, ooh, <laughs> that's why I'm not hitting the weights super hard right now, to be honest, <laughs> because... I've been doing six day weeks for fucking forever and now we're moving into seven and I'm just fucking wiped and I don't have shit all time. I'm basically either at work or asleep. Pretty much 90% of my like time goes into either of those uh, it's fucking blows. But anyways, today's my one day off and I need to use it to go shopping and then do a bunch of cooking. And I may, like, do a workout, like, weights or something, but we'll see how much time I have left and how I'm feeling after doing all the shopping and cooking and laundry and all that shit. So, anyways, I figured I would keep this one brief, so that's probably gonna do it. I'll see you around.